Energy saving technology is changing all the time and more and more homeowners are seeing the benefits. Meet Craig North. He knows a lot about how to build a home using some of the latest technology in the construction industry. So Craig, we're here in one of these homes in a neighborhood that's basically self-sufficient energy-wise. And it feels and looks like any other home, but it is different. How? Well, we first focus on energy conservation. We want to build a nice tight envelope with great insulation. Then we add in high efficiency mechanical equipment such as your air conditioner, your furnace, your water heater, and mechanical ventilation. What is different though is we inspect what we expect. So every house goes through rigorous testing and certifications um, such as the Indoor Air Plus, Water Sense, Energy Star, and the Department of Energy's Zero Energy Ready Home Program. Wow, so you're very thorough. Yes, very thorough. Well, let's talk first about solar because that's your source of energy. We are not storing any electricity in the home. What we do is we produce on the rooftop with our solar arrays and that generates direct current electricity which comes into this inverter and from there it is transferred into alternating current and gets pushed back onto the grid. So we're selling the electricity back to the utility company. Well, I'd love to see more of the innovations that are included in this house. Can you show me? I would love to show you. When we talk about um, conservation of energy in the home, we have to think about air leakage. So what we do is we take uh, spray foam insulation and hit critical areas. Studies show that an average home leaks 35% of their air through the rim joist in the basement and 30% of their air through the lid in the attic. And what is it that you have covering the walls here in the basement? This is added rigid foam insulation that's gonna slow down energy transfer from cold outside soil to the, the warm basement. Okay, so let's talk about the air inside the home, heating yeah. and cooling. What's special about that? In this particular home, we have a dual stage modulating furnace. As we start to construct the homes with higher levels of insulation, the warm air stays in longer and there's less of a need for the equipment to run. So this allows it to run at a lower speed in the lower fan setting, which uses less gas and less electricity versus turning on and shutting off and turning on and shutting off. That's where furnaces lose their efficiency is when they short cycle. Do you have any other components that are special in your heating and cooling? Yes, we have an HRV, which is a heat recovery ventilator. And what the HRV does is it um, brings in a supply of fresh air into the house and exhausts stale air from the building. And then how do you manage the heating and cooling all together? Well, we have a smart thermostat. It will monitor outdoor temperature and humidity, indoor temperature and humidity and basically tell our ventilation equipment when it can run. So you have a water heater back here too. Is there anything special about that? It's an Energy Star water heater, pretty typical in new construction. What is different though is we put a hot water circulation pump in and um, it's a smart pump. So it is designed to learn the occupant's habits. So if the occupant showers between 7 and 7.30 every day, it begins to learn that and it will circulate the, the hot water in the lines during that time and as soon as they turn the shower on, it's instantly hot. Wow, that must equate into savings. Yes, yeah. In fact, um, an average household will waste over 10,000 gallons of water annually waiting for hot water at the tap. Wow, okay. So you got the systems in check. Let's talk about the building itself. How is that unusual? Well, let me show you. Okay. This is a great visual, and this is the way you build? Yeah, yeah, this is our standard wall construction. Uh, we build 2x4 versus 2x6. More insulation on the outside of the wall is better. Here we have uh, our OSP sheathing, which gives us um, the structural strength to the wall. We cover that with one inch of rigid foam. So this is about 25% of the overall wall insulation. A good analogy I've heard is, in the middle of winter, would you rather wear your parka on the outside of your body or would you rather eat it? And I think the answer is pretty obvious. To add to that, we always put uh, a house wrap on our homes that really does a great job of shedding water. Um, it can be in a shingle fashion and we don't have to worry about failures of uh, tape components and things like that. What have the homeowners' favorite things been in this process so far? Well, I would love to say that they really enjoy the insulation and mechanical components, but that's not the case. <laughs> um, I think when they get the utility bill for the first time, it really affirms their decision to build an energy efficient home. It's also the comfort and health in the home. Great, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing this information. Thank you. If you're thinking of building a new home, contact your local energy company because they may have programs that can help you build in energy efficiency from the start.